Hi and welcome back to Woodwork Journey. I'm Dean and this is my Bosch PBS 75A belt sander, which I like a lot. I think this is a great little belt sander and it does a grand job. Now then, when I very first got this, the main reason for wanting it was that I wanted to put it in some kind of uh, um, frame, in some kind of thing, so it would sit there and I could have a table coming off the side of it that was precisely 90 degrees, which would help me when it comes to kind of rounding off corners or just kind of getting flat spots where I needed and doing some final bits and bobs rather than really using it for sort of massive material removal. Um, However, uh, I've not got around to it yet and I think today is the day, but one of the things that's been bothering me is should I have it this way or should I have it kind of more vertical? And the reason I'm thinking that is because with a, um, a horizontal belt sander, then that works brilliantly if you're going along with the grain. So you're trying to get a nice smooth finish and everything works well. However, if you're trying to shape something like shaping a corner or something like that, a lot of people will tend to use a disc sander. Now I would love one but I can't afford one so um, the disc sander will be cutting at more like kind of that kind of angle rather than directly vertically but it's going across grain more than it is going um, uh, with the grain and I think that might help when it comes to waste removal so in an ideal world I would make something where this can sit in I can easily take it out because brilliantly the dust port is on one side and the belt change thing is on the other um so yeah so it uh, it can it can sit in it horizontally or i can move it so it can sit vertically and then come down i can't remember which way this goes if it goes down or up i think it goes down um but yeah so i need it to sort of go down but then i'm going to need sort of quite the height for that kind of thing um so i don't know if this is going to work because I'm also going to need to take it away when I've got reclaimed wood out of the thing so I can clean up sort of some old nasty wood. Let's see how this goes. This is another proper woodwork journey. Can we make it? Don't know. Moment. <laughs> Alrighty, so as always with this channel, I'm going to try and take you through what I'm doing here and now. So this is basically I traced over the top of my sander and then I'm kind of laying it out. So I've got a top view and we've got a side view. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm laying out kind of the areas that I want to uh, sort of encase. So at the moment, and I'm making a bunch of kind of notes and things as I go on. But at the moment, I'm going to have kind of a side piece, which is just essentially a big block like that. That's going to go on one side. The other side is going to have sort of a, a two piece kind of side thingy. It's going to go all the way along here, but I'll have another block going on in here. Um, I am going to make sure that I've got this front curve, which is this part here. Um, of the machine because I want that to um, be accessible because I want to be able to sort of do any curves like that if I need to and then on the back there this is just sort of starting to plan out I'm going to have so we've got the big square going on like that and then we're going to have a rail that runs down that way with an extra one at the front and we'll also have something going on here but you'll see that I've noted that the uh, the trigger and the uh, the trigger lock is there so I don't want to uh, get in the way of that one but this side however is open so what I might do is have kind of like a, a something going on here and something going on here to stop it it falling down and another bit of like 18 mil ply or something along there for the same thing but this is as far as I've got so far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some pieces of wood and we'll sort of throw it on top of these plans and we'll see how it works. But yeah, so this is this is the closest thing I get to doing plans. I've never done this before, though. It's very exciting. Right. So I'm prototyping something. This isn't the final wood that I'll be using, but I'm trying to see if I can come up with a design that works. Any comments about this other than that shit, Dean, <laughs> would be appreciated. 
So if you saw my last post, you'll see that I put it, my belt sander, my Bosch belt sander on a, uh, I made some templates for it. I just traced around it and then started drawing out a framework. This is it on its back at the moment with the idea being that this will be able to sort of sit upright um, so it's vertical so it'll be sanding down and work in a similar way to a disc sander because I'd love it like a 30, 30 uh, uh, centimetre disc sander but I can't afford one so um, and that will help me kind of really shape corners and all that sort of nonsense but yeah this kind of enclosure there's going to be a cover going over here it might, it might start up here I don't know yet um, I've got this which I'll probably screw in so I can tighten it and then loosen it and then just flick this out when I don't want it in there. Um, but once I've made this enclosure, then I've got to make something to put the enclosure in that has a table that will be coming out at 90 degrees or possibly adjustable, so different angles. Um, so I can use it like that or be able to take the whole thing from being vertical, spin it 90 and then make it a horizontal sander as well. Don't know if it's possible. I'm recording bits and bobs as I go, but uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Surprise! I think it's working. I think it's working. Let me put the camera on it proper. So I've still got to build a table that will come out, but we'll worry about that in a minute. This is just prototyping again, not the final wood, but I'm just sort of throwing shapes together. And it seems like, especially if this is removable, but I might be able to just pull it out here. If I unlock that, like so, then... I should be able to pull the um, the belt sander out altogether, but then I'll need to get the plug through there. I'll worry about that a bit later. But yeah, so the idea once again is that we have a vertical sander. So once there's going to be a table here, I can then go and get my nice corners and all that sort of nonsense going on like that. Oh, it's working. I think. I think it's working. The main challenge was to figure out if I could get the sander so it held stable. Do you know what I mean? Should I turn it on and see if that... Okay, I'm putting the camera like this because I might die. We'll see. It's entertainment though, isn't it? Where's the lock button? There's the trigger. I think it's starting to work. Whoa! I made a, this was a prototype, out of prototype bits of off cuts and stuff. So that kind of worked. So now I'm just cutting the pieces for the main, um, the main jobby. So what I'm gonna do is I'll show you all about what I'm cutting, how I'm doing it and how I'm building it up. And then you can take it from there or we can take it from there. Um, but I'm very excited that it looks like it might work. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry if the camera wobbles, but I've still got the uh, tree stump because I didn't finish the, uh, the the project that I had previously. So you can see that I've got just a big old mess going on at the moment. This over here was my plan that I'd uh, just traced out the, uh, the, the machine and then I kind of mocked up some ideas about how I would hold it together. And then when I put this together, it was a case of kind of putting the, the belt sander in there and then going, right, where am I going to need it supported and all that sort of stuff. I just super glued it all together and uh, jobs are good. But this is the key element. We've got plenty of supports and what have you all going on along, along here, but this locks it into, into place. So I'll probably put a bolt there instead of using a, uh, a screw, to be honest. Um, the only thing I've got to do on this lot is to cut this out and I'll show you why in a second. But let me show you what I've got. Okay, so we've got just a, uh, a side here with a, a cutout for the exhaust. So that slides under there like so. Now then, what we've also got is we've got a couple of supports, cross supports going here to here. That just makes sure everything stays straight and exactly how we want it. We've got a couple of um, supports going in from the side member on this side, but because this sand has these little spines that go down the side of it, I have had to cut just a little channel going through there so it all kind of fits in nicely. Um, just did that on the table saw, that was super easy. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that goes in there like so, and you've got, like I say, you've got the exhaust and what have you going on under there. I did um, actually cut this out like so. Ooh, ooh. 
I cut this out like this because I thought, oh, I could lift the whole thing out, exhaust and all. Um, but I've just realised, putting this together, that these blocks are going to stop that happening. So I'm going to have to think about that. But uh, down the bottom here, we've just got another support from the bottom end. We've got another support going on here. And then we've got the, uh, the, the outside piece. But this cutout here will allow me to have full access to the belt so I can still change the belt when it's on there, which is going to make life a lot easier. But uh, yeah, so I've just got to figure out what I'm going to do with these spaces. Um, but then after that, we have a, uh, a front piece. Now, this is what I used on the on the last one on the mock up. So we'll just put a, a, a piece going on kind of over the front there and it stands up and I tried it and it, it was solid as you like, which is great. So I'm going to carry on with what I'm doing. It does look like it's working, but I think once I've got this enclosure sussed for tonight, that's going to be it. And then I'll come back and do the table for it tomorrow. But so far, I'm pretty chuffed with uh, with how it's going. So what I'm going to try and do now, this is what we've got so far. So I'm now going to try and glue that onto that edge right there. Then because that comes right out to the edge, that should be all fine and dandy. Jobs are good. In. I feel like I should probably use screws instead of brad nails. All right, sorry if my head's in the way, but I've got to try and line this up. You might screw it as well, but I'm just getting a brad nail in, so I make sure things stay where they should stay. Like so. So that's what we've got so far. And this one goes in there. And in th I think I'm just going to screw this side in so I've got easy access to remove everything if I need to. But yeah, I am going to screw this side down first. Don't know if anybody else is the same, but I've managed to create absolute chaos everywhere doing this project. So that's fun. Uh, what I'm going to do first is just check. Oh, that's all right check that if I use this drill it's not going to be too big for the screws that should be enough hold I would think probably right so that's good what side am I doing this side yes Why do I allow this much chaos in the workshop? Why? I know people are probably having a heart attack because even though this is birch ply offcuts, I'm kind of still allowing it to be messy, but you know, you'll get over it. Okay, so a couple of screws in here and here should hold things, I think. Who knows? Okay, if I had a decent counter ball, I would uh, do that, but I don't, so I can't. Now, the big question is, does it work? Does it fit? I hope so. Oh, no. I can't slide it in because there's a lump in the way. Oh, no. Oh, you absolute bellend. What bugger is that idea, isn't it? Hmm, damn it. I'm even going to be able to do this. I don't really want to chisel it off. Wait, I've got brad nails in there. I don't want to bugger the saw like I buggered the bandsaw. Oh dear. What am I doing? I've just screwed this on so I can unscrew it. What an idiot. So that can come off like that. Sorry, my arm's in the way. Then that goes on there like that and sits in there nice and comfortably. 
And that boof on there like that. And away we go. Right, the only thing we haven't done so far is put the lock in here. So I'll be working on that next and then worrying about what I'm going to do with the cable. I think I haven't quite sussed that yet. I'll worry about that later. One thing at a time. But it stands up. Can you turn it on without dying? Right, well, I've looked at all of the fixing options that I've got and I've got some of these T-nut kind of affairs. So I've found a couple of, that was off an old Evolution saw, that was off something. Um, they're M5s and they, they will fit into that. So I need to just drill a couple of, uh, of holes that will go straight down there and there. And then um, I can, hang on, yes, no, that's fine. And then I can um, make the holes bigger for the bottom section and get that into there. Now I probably should use a, a proper drill rather than the bench drill, rather than doing this by hand. But uh, do you know what? One thing I'm going to do is just try and find a, a center line. So that's seven, so three and a half. So that, and we're going to need to go halfway into the bottom ply. So that'll be there more or less. Nah, ah, 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 ah. Oh no, yeah, this is right. Well, that moved and that doesn't fill me with confidence, but never mind. We'll see how we get on. And that moved again, but maybe I should have clamped it before drilling. All right, now I've got to get the bigger, bigger bit in. Oh, they just hang off the edge. Oh, that's annoying. That one's not too bad. What I might do though is, do I want to flick these up so I don't wreck the thing or do I want to drill little tiny dinky holes in it? Right, so is that going to work and stop the uh, the wood from splitting? Possibly. <laughs> kind of does. I'm also just realising that I'm going to have to inset those slightly. Bugger. Good old stepped drill bit should do the trick for this. I think I messed up. Shouldn't have done that. Step bit of drill bit was not the answer. Right, well that's annoying because I'm going to have to put dowels in these holes because these big bastards underneath are, are uh, not going to do the trick. At least that hasn't broken through though, so I've been lucky there. Maybe I, should, I can fill that again. But got to go back to drilling out these with the smaller drill first. Seriously, why didn't I move them in? I, I should have learned that from the last one. What an idiot. I'd say that you live and learn, but apparently I do not. Used a force in a bit that time, so hopefully that will, uh, that will fix things. I'm definitely going to need matching knobs. I haven't got any of the ones that I make left, unfortunately. Right, oh. we're getting there, need to put a space for the lead now. Now, if you were doing something like this, I would definitely, definitely suggest that you don't have the plug directly under the hole that you're trying to drill out. Ah, we're good. All right, so that pops out there. Bosh. That is the uh, is the belt sander sort of main thing. I've now got to get the table up, so I'll be like that and be able to do some of that. I have absolutely no idea how that's going to work, but that'll be tomorrow's problem. <laughs> 